listening to the sounds of Neil Alexander and Peter Ferlin right here on Rockland World Radio. This is a little modern metro music session here this afternoon, this Friday. What is today's date? The 5th of April. And performing here on Sunday, the 7th of April at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Le Jazz Electronique, featuring Neil Alexander and Peter Ferlin. And with me this afternoon, and I'll prove it by turning on my camera, I have Neil Alexander and Peter Ferlin. Gentlemen, welcome. Welcome. Richard, how are you, sir? Doing okay. Always a pleasure, man. Thanks for having us. I'm in my booth here. We're doing a, a big production of Wild Children this weekend. And so this weekend we'll be performing in the Crazy Horse Saloon. That's right. Within the Nyack Village Theater. <laughs> Uh, but uh, let's talk about this is so interesting. Uh, we were just listening to a clip from this new project. And, um, well, you've said hello. Why don't you tell, tell us uh, how we've gotten together? How did this project first uh, get introduced to each other? Well, Peter and I uh, sort of stumbled across each other through uh, some very kindly people who thought we should know each other. And uh, th I think they were right. Yeah, oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> um, we've done a bunch of different things. Uh, we're both, we come from a very similar background. We both uh, really like traditional jazz, funk, blues, and progressive rock, which is, I haven't met too many saxophone players that have a good, you know, background in progressive rock. So right away we were like, uh, I guess we went to different high schools together. Or <laughs> exactly. something, something like that. <laughs> And um, I, have, I work a lot with electronics. I'm a jazz pianist, but I also work a lot with electronics and sequences and all kinds of crazy technology, modern music technology. And uh, we decided to try to sort of combine everything into this easy um, new kind of format where it's just the two of us. So it's not a lot of rehearsals involved or a lot of this or that. And we have complete control about what we're doing and we can go in a lot of different directions where we can play just piano and saxophone with no treatments or anything like a jazz duo or we can go to fully sequenced and realized arrangements of original compositions or covers. Yeah, so when, when, you, when you say that, that uh, to me I envision some more knobs and... Lots of knobs. Oh, lots of knobs. Computers. More faders <laughs> and things like that going on. A lot of stepping on buttons. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so you bring a, a multimedia uh, m multi musical media yeah. uh, experience yeah. to to what would normally be a w or what could be a, a straight ahead uh, playing piano and jazz yeah. horn uh, situation. So so you do um, trip it out uh, extremely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of the focus of it. It's it's the variety of different styles and different textures that we can get is the point. So it's not like, okay, we're, we're doing this and now we're going to add to it. No, it's like all of that together is the thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's what makes it what it is. Yeah, it's, and, and people like getting, you know, these new festivals are out, so you get these jam bands. This is like a, a new, you know, for, for these instrumentations yeah. and this style, a jamming, what is now the phrase, it's not people getting together who have never seen each other before, but th the fact that you have longer playing sets, more landscape style, uh, musical Absolutely, compositions. Yeah, yeah. You know, at, at the heart of it, you know, we're still jazz musicians, so there's a lot of improv going on. But um, you know, it's uh, you know, at times it'll sound like a freaking orchestra. Yeah. You know, it'll be really big, and then we'll break it down, and it'll be like a duo. And then uh, Neil is a great programmer. Uh, you know, he's done some amazing things, and uh, you know, for this project, and and it's just been. Wonderful, and recently um, I'm now also electronic. Uh, I now no. This, what do you got? I well, we, he's been telling me you got to get this device. Uh -huh. <laughs> got to uh -huh. get this device. That's right, folks. You can blame me. That's all right. So, I'll, take, um, I'll take the heat. So now, so now I can't stop using it. <laughs> At rehearsal last night, too much now. So it, it's basically this vocal harmonizer that'll just like you know, it's has a zillion sounds and presets and you can create your own patches and so I'm um, playing through it and at times it'll sound like a whole saxophone section or a chorus or a combination of both or you know just certain intervals. Mm -hmm. So needless to say you've probably been spending a hell of a lot more time <laughs> 
in, <laughs> in unknown areas, so for to me, speak. Yeah, for me, with, with, as far as ex the sound that you're you're, yeah. you're able to acquire from the same method of blowing into a horn. It's 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 interesting. You yeah, know, you know, it's it's been um, you know a, a new new thing for me, but it's been great. You know, Neil and I for. Our first gigs together uh, actually were with this band called the Mahavishnu Project, playing Mahavishnu orchestra music, um, and uh, so that was really exciting. And then we've done a few other things together. Um, we even have a we, a trio that's been working a somewhat acoustic trio. Right, just straight acoustic with a, which with a is wonderful bass player, which named Peter Brendler. And, and that project actually, again, it's not really kind of straight ahead. It's a little, you know. It features a lot of my music and Neil's music, which is it's a little more open. So, you know, we're actually doing some of those tunes, but, you know, Neil's a great programmer. And I love not, it. I love it. I, I, it Explain feels to him how we're doing. It's not like we're hitting the computer and we're playing along with it. We're actually playing the computer. It's Neil's. Yeah, this is this is software I use called Ableton Live, right. which is designed to be manipulated in real time and played like an instrument. So the idea is to feed it certain bits of audio, bass lines or whatever, and then mix and match and combine them and uh, restructure things on the fly, plus changing sounds. And, and um, it's tremendous. I've been using it for a lot of years. And, and it's challenging and very rewarding to be able to use it in this kind of context because we're doing, as Peter said, we're primarily jazz musicians, so we're coming from an improvising standpoint. And so we have certain things set down and certain things preset, but then we can go away from that, and we can change it completely, and then we can come back to it. Or oh, you're not cha you're not uh, glued to the no, the, the sync patient or the arrangement, no, so to speak, even. And actually, yeah, it's all f it's actually changes when we play it. Sometimes yeah. it's like it's almost like a jazz else. tune. Yeah, it's yeah. still a jazz tune because right. when we well, play it, it's not the same. Well, you're not you're able to manipulate it right. in such yes. a way where you can uh, freestyle that 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 time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, do yeah, you have yeah. an example, a musical example you want to play for us? Oh, uh, that was just one of the things that we we're just listening to. That uh, was listening to. Let's listen to something else. Uh, we have a ballad for a, li for a little musical yeah, break. Yes, this is a Joe Zonal composition called "In a Silent Way." And there's video to this also. Yeah, there is. And I want to, uh, you have a video presentation that coincides, it runs parallel to the musical yeah. Um, yeah, performance. So it's a musical and visual, audio and visual uh, performance here on Sunday, April 7th, 3 p.m. Come early, 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 because did you know it was the street fair day? No. no, that's next, next Sunday. That's next Sunday. Okay, so Don't it's not... Well, okay, come early mind. anyway. <laughs> this Sunday, you're yes, even come, better come, this come, Sunday. Come, no come, street yes. fair. Free parking in Nyack. <laughs> come early, have brunch. Stay later, have yeah. dinner. Yeah, it's, it's perfect time. That's why we did it. You know, it's weather's right. supposed to be great this Sunday. Uh, come on down, April 7th, 3 p.m., Nyack Village Theater. You can get your tickets online, nyackvillagetheater.com. Now I'm going to step to the other side of the camera while Neil um, uh, displays the video, and we'll play some music. What is this called? This is, like I said, this is a Joe Zominal composition called In a Silent Way. This is a good example of more of, of, more of the ambient kind of stuff that we do.
That was uh, In a Silent Way, composed by the late, great Joe Zawinul of Weather Report fame and uh, Miles Davis and other things. To name a few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's more like a spacey, ambient thing, but um, we're going to have stuff that's going to be like in hip-hop groove and... Uh, yeah. Stuff in the reggae groove, and so I, I know we just we just uh, I had just asked you if it's on a CD yet, and, and no, it's not on no, CD. This is but is it, so right project. now that's up on YouTube if people want to see uh, something more. Yeah. It, are there downloadable things yet? Not no, nothing yet. We, we've so it's that new. Yes, we've done like three performances. This will be our fourth performance. Yeah, and so you know we're you know trying to really take it off because I mean I'll be honest for me it's been it's been really great and I'm loving it so. I've been pushing Neil. We're both real busy. For said, this is a great project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know how it is with musicians. It's hard. You know, everyone's schedule. So when it's just dealing with two guys, it's a lot easier <laughs> to, get, to get every. You know, for us to get together because it's just dealing with two mm -hmm, instead of mm -hmm, five. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah, have. Yeah. You saw my group this summer. You know, my sure, my sure. Well, yeah, and you have got your charts and everything. And it's really hard to get everyone together yeah. sometimes. You and know? this is more. It's 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 uh, it's landscape. Yeah. There's fields, there's yeah. waters, there's yeah. earth and wind, wind and, and fire <laughs> and all sorts of yeah, stuff and, in and this. And that's what the photos are going to be. <laughs> the slideshow. Right, like I said, out. there's a visual presentation here at the Nyack Village Theater this Sunday, April 7th at 3 p.m. Order your tickets online, nyackvillagetheater.com. Call us here, 845-826-2639. Send us an email, nyackvillagetheater at gmail.com. For Le Jazz Electronique with Neil Alexander and Peter Ferlin, right here at the Nyack Village Theater. Um, you guys are so good. Uh, you know, maybe we should start a new program um, hosted by, and you could, uh, you know, bring some of the jazz and influences that are circulating out there now uh, to Rockland World Radio's listeners each week. That would be an interesting. I'm, sounds delightful. Yeah. That's actually an idea that I've been that I've uh, imagined doing for quite a few years is like a like a progressive you know like focusing on that that crazy music from the late 60s early 70s that nobody really talks about anymore yeah, yeah. and believe it or not though there's a huge for that kind of music there is tons of bands playing that especially in Europe uh, from Sweden and and, and, and uh, uh, I have a new favorite band it's called Big Big Train <laughs> And, and these guys That's are just, awesome. I mean, they've been around for like 10 years, and they're amazing. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of bands that are doing it. There's this amazing guy named Stephen Wilson, who's in about six different bands, and, and, and the biggest group is this group called Porcupine Tree. But, you know, there's all kinds of bands out there. Yeah, so that would be an interesting show, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> well, we'll talk the, about that. We'll talk about because maybe between the two of us, because our schedules, we can actually yeah. do it, because that way we can. Well, we can. We have. We could. Yeah. Rotate. I mean, we could rotate it, or you know, do it together. But um, certainly ne not a lacking of material. And so, speaking of material, I, I we have yeah. uh, Neil Alexander and Peter Ferlin here, and both have their own websites. I know Peter Ferlin's is peterferlin dot com, <laughs> and of course Facebook. Uh, everyone's got a Facebook. Neil, what's your uh, website address. My website address is uh, nailmusic.com, and I picked up the nickname of the Nail while I used to be on the road with this band called the Machine. Uh, they were based around here. Yeah. Pink Floyd tribute band. That's right. I toured with them for ten years, and uh, during that time, I picked up the name of the Nail, which <laughs> kind of stuck, and so the website is nailmusic.com. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there were, there were hammer and nails in the, the movie. Yeah, we're and, in my head. In your head. <laughs> I've seen someone push what it the up odds? their nose. We've had that on uh, but, um, <laughs> uh, So it is. It's nailmusic.com. Yep. Find out, uh, see more, hear more, find out more about Neil Alexander. But more importantly than that, see them here live this Sunday, April 7th, for the first time for this project, which is just getting uh, out of our gravitational pull. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they've been launched and they're orbiting at That's this it. moment. So come by while they're in orbit. Uh, Nyack Village Theater, nyackvillagetheater.com. Tickets can, online. You can help us achieve escape velocity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I think what I, I, we'd like to do probably is uh, play one more from here, just a little bit, uh, ending out. And, uh, yeah, let's go back and play Diamond Dust. Play, play, 
a little bit and we'll take it out with that with that being said uh thanks for joining us here at modern metro music once again peter ferlin neil alexander who will be starring here on the stage of the nike village theater this sunday check them out at their designated websites facebook but more importantly come down this sunday and uh, if you happen not to be in striking distance see them wherever you can right now there's neil's new cd available at nailmusic.com this this track is called what this is once again diamond dust composed by bernie holland and made popular by jeff beck With that, you've heard it here first on Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio.com.